All right, away from that, the National Dialogue Committee has now been formally established after the delegation leaders signed the agreed framework that entrenches the committee and its deliberations in law. The committee stated that they were now ready to hit the road running and find solutions to political issues bedeviling the country and which often result, result in strife in the election. The committee has 60 days to deliberate and come up with a report and or including bills initiating a review of various pieces of laws. Bushebi Jr. is on that story. Kenya Kwanza and Azimilo Moja won Kenya Coalition on Wednesday signed a framework policy for the dialogue should come together it is now the framework of the talks will be a binding document that will guide the dialogue and provide for the time frame we're ready to sign we're ready to go a lot more work remains to be done the official signing comes a day after the senate formally approved the formation of the committee anchoring its work in law and allowing the team to expend public resources the signing was witnessed by the talks committee co-chaired by wiper leader kalonzo msioka and national assembly majority leader kimani chungwa the bipartisan talk teams also agreed on the way forward over the future of the independent electoral and boundaries commission and we continue to tell kenyans to ignore the naysayers co-chaired by former vice president kalonzo musioka and kikuyu member of parliament kimani chungwa the team agreed to let the IEBC selection panel continue its work without interference as the negotiations on other pending issues continue. On the question of whether we are able to stop the selection panel, we are not writing to them to uh, stop doing their work. It's just to take uh, what has been described by the Honorable Eugene Omaro in our meeting as judicial notice of the ongoings of this national dialogue team. Therefore, even as they progress their work, then they take note that it's part of the issues that uh, we are engaging on. And uh, for sure, I am certain uh, when we begin to engage with stakeholders, those are among the stakeholders most likely that we'll be engaging with. The agreement will also allow the country to move on without tension. However, the grace period will not prohibit the bipartisan team from discussing the pending issues on electoral justice in the country as the matter is considered the most divisive. We have adjourned to Friday this week at 10 a.m. to allow the Secretariat and the technical teams to work on prioritization of the issues and guide us on how we prioritize what issues do we begin with so we'll be able to communicate that decision once we meet again on Friday. There will always be those who do not who feel threatened for whatever reason by something so illustrious because this is wonderful work and we, we, we're going to move very, very fast. A lot of work will be happening also. I think sometime we've agreed on the work plan again, um, the dates and everything and when to have stakeholder engagement, for example, that is clear. Azimio's Kalonzo Musioka noted that the seven-member panel that is responsible for recruiting the chairperson and six commissioners of IEBC may also hear from them as the talks progress. The wiper leader explained that his Azimio coalition disregards the IEBC, which they have constantly accused of electoral injustice. Thus, its reconstitution cannot be expunged from the contentious issues for discussion. So a lot of work has been done. And we want to encourage Kenyans to continue to have faith in, in this team. The panel was appointed by President William Ruto on March 6th and later confirmed by the National Assembly. We thank our technical teams uh, and indeed we thank our, uh, both houses of Parliament, the National Assembly and uh, the Senate because they have now given their unanimous approval and support to the work of this team. So yeah, we're going to sign the framework agreement 
soon after this. The current IEBC selection panel comprises of Nelson Makanda, who is the chairperson, and Charity Kisotu as vice chairperson. Other members of the selection panel include Bethwell Sugut, Novins Euralia Atieno, Evans Misati James, Benson Guginjeri, and Fatuma Saman. As required by the law, the panel advertised the positions of the chairperson and commissioners in the national dailies. The shortlisted candidates are then required to undergo interviews and tests before the names are forwarded to President William Ruto for appointment. Uh, we continue to reiterate that this is serious national work. If ever there was a moment that this country should come together, it is now. And, and we are determined uh, as, as a team to make sure that happens. The dialogue is aimed at resolving a bitter political feud following a spate of deadly protests over electoral reforms and the high cost of living. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambushabi Jr.